If you don't already have old money, you can't get it. A freshly acquired fortune is by definition, new. Money. Buy all the seventh homes, helicopters, and significant others you like, but those who bemoan estate taxes overbraised. Ostrich or d'oeuvres will still think you're the weirdo. Money can't buy pedigree, although it can buy a pedigreed Mercedes-Benz. The E-Class wagon's lineage stretches back to the 1970s, and the redesigned W213 generation model continues to represent the discerning option. In the Mercedes lineup, in our crossover-crazed world, it's contrary in sans irony, like a smoking jacket worn not in vogue. But because the wearer has smoked Cubans since the Taft administration, only a small cloister of Americans each year, said to be among Mercedes-Benz's richest and most loyal customers here, opt for the E-Class wagon instead of nouveau riche G wagons are predictable. S-Classes that taste lends the station wagon its quiet confidence, its air of amply nourished bank accounts. Mercedes-Benz's stylists seem to have forgotten the E400s under the radar mission, though. Their addition of more roof and glass to the stoic E-Class sedan streamlines the profile into a tidy bustle graced by two wide, thin lamps seemingly pulled from Benz's coupes. The Quietly, meltingly lovely result is longer and lower than its predecessor and arguably prettier than Volvo's V90 wagon. It also can hold 35 cubic feet of chattels behind the second row seats, 22 more cubes than fit in the E-Class sedan's trunk. We used that space, which expands to 57 cubic feet with the rear seats folded flat to move in apartments worth of boxed kitchen and living room items. For carrying smaller passengers in a pinch, a rear-facing third row seat deploys from the trunk floor. With these changes and a twin-turbocharged V6 engine replacing the old wagon's 3.5 LITER V6, the E400 is 382 pounds heavier than the four-cylinder, all-wheel drive E300. The E400 wagon has 4 MATIC all-wheel drive as standard, typically, such weight gain would earn a condemnation from us. Here, it adds a sense of classic Mercedes heft, a satisfying expression. I've solidity that the daintier E300 nears but can't quite equal. The V6 is the same engine that powers. The AMG-badged E43 sedan that won our latest comparison test of midsize sports sedans, albeit detuned to 329 horsepower from 396. It erases our complaints about the 241 HP E300's pokiness, shaving 1.4 seconds from the sedan's 0 to 60 mph time and providing strain-free passing power and a better soundtrack. For now, it is exclusive to the E-Wagon, Coupe, and Convertible. Next year, Mercedes-Benz plans to add an E400 to the sedan range. Unsurprisingly, the E400 wagon drives much like the ultra-smooth E-Class sedan, with the must-have $1,900 air springs and adjustable dampers, the Benz wafts down the road on a magic carpet of comfort and solitude. As if this needed enhancing, Mercedes offers a $1,100 acoustic comfort package that quiets the wagon even further with thicker window glass and additional sound attenuation throughout the cabin. In practice, it virtually eliminates the interior booming over road imperfections common to wagons and SUVs in which the cargo hold is open to the cabin. Stiffer suspension settings and sportier throttle and transmission calibrations are a flick of a center console switch away, although none truly transform the comfort-driven experience. In the hardiest Sport Plus driving mode, the 9-speed automatic transmission cracks off furnace downshifts and holds lower gears longer, but the suspension still allows the nose to gently bob up and down under hard braking and acceleration. In every driving mode, the steering is isolated and the brake pedal squishy. That's not to say, 